The medical name for painful periods is dysmenorrhea. Period pains are really common, especially on the first and second day of a period. And they're caused by the muscles of the uterus contracting in response to higher levels of substances called prostaglandins. And these prostaglandins can cause period poos too, because they also cause the bowel to contract. The pains tend to be crampy and most often felt in the tummy, lower back and the legs. Some people are more sensitive to these prostaglandins and these chemicals can also make you more prone to breast soreness and headaches at this time. Primary dysmenorrhea is the most common and primary means that there's no other health condition causing the pains, so no underlying problems of the womb or pelvis. And it most commonly affects teenagers and women in their 20s. Secondary dysmenorrhea, secondary means that the pain is due to another condition, such as a problem of the womb or pelvis. So causes include womb lining tissue growing in other places, endometriosis and adenomyosis, growth in around the womb, fibroids, or infection, pelvic inflammatory disease. And secondary dysmenorrhea is less common and most often diagnosed in women in their 30s and 40s. So how to know if your period pains are more severe than is normal? Well, it really depends on how they affect you and how they impact your life. Painkillers such as paracetamol and ibuprofen can be really helpful, but they work best if they're taken before the pain gets bad. So it's best to take them as soon as you feel those cramps coming on and continue to take them regularly for as long as you're affected by the pain. If you're logging and tracking your cycle, then you might even know exactly when that pain is due to start and you can get ahead of it by taking the pain relief beforehand. And if that's not working and the pain is still so bad that it's stopping you from doing the things that you want to do, it's time to go and see your GP who can discuss other solutions. Period pain levels can change throughout a person's life cycle and the first couple of years and last couple of years, so prior to menopause, can be a more painful time. You can 100% speak to your GP or your practice nurse if that feels easier to ask for support if you're struggling with period pains and certainly if they're stopping you from going to school, work or doing the things you enjoy. And here are some other tips for easing those milder period pains at home.